hi, I'm Jane McNaughton. I'm Professor of Medical Humanities here at Durham University and also uh, Deputy Pro Vice Chancellor for Research. Until about a year ago, I was also Director of the Institute for Medical Humanities. And um, I came into Medical Humanities originally through the field of medical education. Having started my life doing a degree in history and English at Glasgow University, I decided to do medicine, which was a strange transition, but an unusual one in those days as well. When I started in medical education, I realised that there was something lacking from that uh, experience. And the thing that I found lacking was the stimulation to uh, the intellect, the range of disciplines and understanding that one could have of where our patients had come from. And there was something sort of deadening about the way in which we learned, which didn't arouse the curiosity. So when I came through medicine and emerged as a fully qualified doctor, I was determined that in, for part of my life, working with clinical work, I was going to spend some time trying to make a difference to that process of medical education. So that's what I did initially. I became a lecturer in general practice and combined that uh, with clinical work. And then I had the fantastic opportunity to come here to Durham to set up the Centre, now Institute for Medical Humanities. And in the process of doing that, um, medical humanities is during that time influenced by work that we've done here at the Institute, particularly by my colleagues um, uh, Angela Woods, who you'll hear from as well. Um, medical humanities has developed from a field that's focused largely on the education of the healthcare practitioner into one which takes seriously the importance of other disciplines in understanding where our patients and, and illness problems are coming from. So the focus on the experiential, the feeling of embodiment, the sense of context, places, spaces, family contexts, um, religious contexts, where patients and people are um, coming from and where their illness experience derives. All of these things being important in the development of illness and in our view about how we then go on to manage it. In the course of the work that we've done in the Institute and through some of the large projects, we've come to the understanding that medical humanities is something that has something to offer a huge range of different contexts. So of course, people who work in the healthcare contexts have the chance to understand where the context and places and spaces their patients arise from, the kinds of experiences of life that coming from a, um, a, a, a lower socioeconomic community um, uh, comes from, from a, another global place, um, from a different uh, ethnic or religious group. All these things influence the way people experience their health. So we have, uh, we have people from the healthcare context studying with us who came into medical humanities because they, had, they felt something was missing, they had this desire to understand where their patients were coming from. But of course, there are other groups who will benefit from this as well. We have people who are not trained healthcare uh, professionals, but who have a huge commitment towards, say, the charitable sector, um, the, uh, the um, healthcare policy sector, um, and the uh, social care sector who again need that cross-disciplinary understanding in order to better care for the people that they work with. And I think also the other experience I've had in medical humanities with people coming from the arts and humanities in particular is that very often people coming to study with us in medical humanities have a particular passion or concern for a particular healthcare issue. And they're coming at it not as people with clinical experience or knowledge, but as people who have experienced themselves or within their families. And it's, it's they, what they're seeing is there's, um, there are gaps. There are gaps in understanding. There are gaps in terms of the appreciation of the experience of people in these areas. These include people who may be suffering from medically unexplained symptoms. Also people who may now be suffering from long COVID. These kinds of very multifactorial illnesses um, where healthcare and clinical medicine doesn't have the answers. 
but the breadth of discipline that we can bring to these, the study of these areas and indeed the addressing how we might manage them is something that medical humanities can now help with. And we hope that if you come and study with us here in Durham, these are the kinds of ways that will expand your understanding, your scope uh, within uh, our ME.